Ordering Waves is finally here. As you can see, you can install the game. Make sure after installing the game that you open the game because there was like a 500 megabyte patch. And who knows, there might be another one before the game releases. Now, let's get you ready for the launch, right? One, did you see the new trailer for the Dragon Boy for Ji Young? They released it on Twitter. In fact, they have been releasing a lot of videos on Twitter these last like two or three days. We all know that the stream for the release was not quite that good but they are releasing a lot of videos now with a lot of gameplay i'm gonna show you a snippet of the trailer pulling on the threads of faith the chords within these fleeting there's a few things you should already have decided when you start to play the game. Do you know which server you will play on? Do you know which of the two main lead characters will you play? Will you play female rover or will you play male rover? You cannot reverse this decision later on, so choose wisely. Maybe look at a few of their animations on like YouTube. There's all out there. Make sure that you have decided. You can always decide later, but make sure that you have looked at some gameplay of Jian and Jingling. These are the first two characters that get released. I believe we start starting with Jin Yang. Next one is Jingling, the Kafka lightning character of this game, and she's obviously the mommy. They both have slightly different roles. You can look at some of the tier lists. They are both tier zero, of course they are. They're both the limited characters right now. This is basically Seely and Jing Yuan from Honkai Star Ray release. But decide which of the characters you want to play. Maybe you want to skip one of them. Maybe you want to skip both of them. Of course, there will always be more characters in the future. So behave yourself. Behave yourself. Now, here's a quick little list of all the rewards you can expect at release. They posted those on Twitter. As you can see, we have a lot of pulls here, a lot of resources. And to better understand this, let's look at some graphics some people made where we can clearly see what the items are called in terms of, for example, Genshin Impact, in case you played that game. I'm sure it's not that horrible to understand. Next up, lock in your Echo from the Echo web event. If you have not done the web event, go ahead and do so. You have like one more, maybe even two more weeks left, so you don't have to rush it and make sure to lock in the Echo. You will be able to claim your Echo once you are, I believe, are Union level 8. Now on the first day to maximize it, you would really want to try to go as far as you can to unlock your daily quest, to unlock your asteroid, which is yeah, like your premium currency in this game, to unlock the dailies, to get all of your items, okay? Okay, next up. This is something I've heard a while ago when I started to play Genshin Impact. All of these gacha games are basically resource management games. They all punish you greatly for using your resources without thinking and reward you for saving your resources. So maybe try out the characters you get, decide which ones you want to play and start using them. Maybe if you have multiple weapons, you decide on the weapon that you want to use, invest on that weapon, wait for until you get like five star echoes or at least like good four star echoes to invest into them all of these games are made that everything is time gated which means you have to be very smart with your resources if you're not a whale and even then it still is smart to not like waste resources on stuff that you won't be using in like a week from now you know now for the beginner banner you get the first character after 50 pulls which you get with 40 tickets since it's discounted and it's gonna be one of the random five star units from the standard banner a few pulls later i believe on 80 pulls you get to choose another one of those same five star characters so it would be wise to take a different one unless you really want to go hard on the same character you know for me i'm kind of hoping that i either get anchor or the sword boy and then pick the other one but i'm honestly gonna be happy with all the characters I mean, I don't really like the lowly blonde character. I'm gonna be honest here, everything else is gonna be fine. Have you decided on a name yet? Do you have food ready? Do you have drinks ready? Did you sleep enough? Did you pay off your significant other or your family members to not disturb you? Have you found a streamer that you're gonna watch while you play this game or a playlist or a video or whatever? No? You still have time to do so, okay. Starting from tomorrow, I'm gonna be live for four days straight playing this freaking game. I will see you then. Until then, bye-bye.